England and Scotland will meet in the, their opening game this evening for the Women's Euros in the Netherlands. England are one of the favourites for the tournament after narrowly missing out on the World Cup two years ago. And this is, in fact, the first major tournament Scotland have qualified for, as Katie Gornell reports. There are certain things you expect from the Netherlands, and Utrecht delivers. But while football is also full of well-trodden assumptions, this tournament feels different. Scotland are here for a start, while England are among the favourites. For the first time in years, England expects. We want to use that as a positive, see it as an opportunity to exploit and make the most of it, because we haven't felt it before. We did bring this trophy back. We have made a championship for an English football team on the back of what's been a great summer for all of our junior teams. You know, we'll be really dicey on the cake and for the women's game, allow us to take us to the next level. England's history at the Euros is a chequered one. In 2009, they were runners-up to Germany, but fell apart at the tournaments four years ago in Sweden and finished bottom of the group. That failure led to a change in coach and a change in fortune. Under Mark Sampson, they finished third at the 2015 World Cup and arrive here fitter than they've ever been before. Scotland have made history just by being here. This is their first major tournament, but they're without a number of their key players, including the world-class Arsenal midfielder, Kim Little. They've put so much into the team um, to help us to this point. We would just love them to experience this, but, but they're not here, and that brings us closer together as a team. Adversity, yeah, but we'll face that head on. While Scotland's players are preparing for the biggest game of their careers, England's have been brushing up on more than just tactics. Everyone knows that rivalry, that battle. Yesterday we had a meeting. It was kind of a history lesson about the rivalry because we all know, oh yeah, there's this rivalry, but actually what's behind it? So we had to sit down and if my history lessons would have been like that in school, I think I would have listened a bit more. History favours Germany, who have won the past six European championships. But this is a country with its own footballing folklore. England and Scotland will hope it's also where they make their mark. Katie Gornall, BBC News, Utrecht. And commentary of that match is on Radio 5 Live tonight from 7.45. Staying with football.